Hi Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You vs Them. Virgo, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Virgo, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right, Virgo newcomers, let's set down, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading Virgo, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, six of wands. Maybe somebody was a little prideful or egoistic in this connection, Virgo, because I do have a couple here, two people who are very angry, very upset with each other. One person says, I don't trust them anymore. This is, there's no future here. Maybe there's been an argument or a fight and one person is ready to let go of this toxic connection. They could be manifesting new things and accepting this is over. The other person is also very angry. Uh, they feel that I invested so much time, energy, or I should have. Uh, I mean, it's like disappointment that something never really flourished here. They feel, um, I, I think they did want to come out of the cold with the other person. They wanted to rebuild, but they are seeing pers the other person as not really bothered about them or uh, getting away from them or breaking up with them or something. I don't know what's happening here. Let's uh, let's ask the universe. What's happening, spirit, uh, spirit in this connection? Why are we doing a Virgo's reading today? What's the overall theme for Virgo's reading today? For Virgo spirit? Virgo's overall theme spirit. Thank you. The first card here says, Soon. Something is happening sooner than you expect. Well, be a little mindful Virgo. If that, there hasn't been an argument already, maybe it's supposed to, it's going to happen soon fate this connection is fated new love developing new feelings maybe somebody is moving on to new love or new things in their life now so let's before i start clarifying these cards of course virgo let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'll clarify these Virgo and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Virgo and that person. Virgo and that person. I have a feeling it could be person A who's manifesting new things in their life or victory elsewhere, accepting this connection is over. And that's what's making the other person very upset and angry. Okay, so let's take a few more Virgo from another deck. Virgo and their person spirit. Virgo and their person spirit. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Just a few more Virgo from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading. Virgo and their person spirit. Virgo and their person. All right. Good to go. Let's start the reading. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, Virgo, my email is omkaratarot at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, you make me so nervous, sometimes it's hard to breathe. It's sometimes hard to keep the faith when you're taking so long to commit. I need you to need me, like I need you. Somebody had control issues, I think. I got a whiff of your scent. It made me smile, remembering you. I want to marry you one day. I tend to look at your social media pages, waiting on signs to connect with you. You changed up and that triggers me. And like I said, there's anger here. Why did the other person stop waiting or why are they moving on or 
uh, why are they ending things somebody is very very triggered be a little mindful Virgo maybe this has happened or it's going to happen soon so just stay alert I don't think I can handle this anymore when I said I love you forever I meant it I realize that we have past lives together somebody's realizing it's a karmic connection I mean spirit did say that right that this was fated I need to work on myself I need to clear my pending karmas it was a difficult decision for both of us you enlightened my soul I can never free my soul from you I'm deeply sorry that I walked away from you I know I'm the one to blame sometimes I wish I'd never even met you so maybe one person walked away first or they did something that they know they are to blame for and that triggered the other one first to say I'm done here now the other one is triggered because why did you give up on me and it's like it seems like a little bit of a mess sometimes I wish I'd never even met you I am secretly obsessed with you all right so Virgo these were some of your messages if these were resonating with your storyline let's start the reading but first an angel blessing card for you let's see what my angels want to bless my Virgo gang with today as a blessing guidance advice or a message yep uh, be mindful you don't lose your temper here Virgo uh, bring some sweetness back into the connection or in your speech or just lie low I would say um, the, you, you, you can't win an argument no not not a not like this I mean I have a king of swords and a queen of swords in reverse I mean that is a real clash of upset and anger so be mindful to keep it gentle and sweet all right so spirit tell me what's uh, happening here in Virgo's reading I'm going to start with person A's energy Virgo and please remember newcomers these are two soul energies in front of me I don't know which side you're on I don't want to know because I want to be fair to both sides and it's not gender based of course if this is your reading you'll immediately pick up which side you're on and who this person is for you yes it could be a love interest could be a spouse could be an ex could be a secret crush could even be a relative a parent child and a big brother sister could be whoever I mean be be just you will know right could even be your best friend somebody who's uh, been in your life or uh, you're energetically connected to this person not 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 somebody you met in the morning for coffee at the coffee shop no not 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 like that this is somebody you really feel a bond with or you've had some connection with or you have so person A let's start with you and you come as I'm going to first focus on one side and one side only after I'm done with person A's feelings and what everything then we'll go to the other side and tackle person B <laughs> alright so person A let's start with you uh, why are you so upset why are you so angry you have trust issues it seems yeah person A feels uh, this is like uh, I don't think person A really wanted this connection to end but they feel that their person plays mind games with them power games with them makes them feel not good enough uh, there is no long term stability it's over I don't want to reconnect with them anymore uh, person A is very upset very angry and is uh, kind of ready to cut person be out of their life to be honest why because they feel there's no long-term happiness here there's no joy there's no happiness they feel their person doesn't make a choice or makes the wrong choice it's almost like person A says I have no other option Omkara Taro because I've been so discontent in this connection I feel the only way I can find any happiness is if I completely turn my back to this connection there is nothing left here ten of cups is in reverse why do you feel this way person A person A says because they are very frustrated with person B maybe or maybe you guys have had some kind of an argument or a fight or person A is just kind of feels that person B is uh, I think person A person A is kind of lost their will uh, 
they've kind of lost their will to even fight for this connection feeling it's just getting toxic uh, it's getting more and more toxic i can't deal with their addictions or toxic behavior it's done they're not strong enough it's like devil in reverse clarified by the devil in reverse this is like somebody who's really really fed up and saying you know what i call it the end i need to now pull out those swords they've plunged into my back and heal myself i don't want to even argue with them i don't even want to fight with them forget all that i don't even want to message them or talk to them so how do you feel about the connection now person a how do you see person b how do, how do you feel about the connection uh the magician what's the magician magician person is for a long time was manifesting that maybe th you guys could rebuild or something but right now from what i feel person is getting a little fed up they could be getting a little fed up and saying you know what i have to rebuild my own life i can't sit in this limbo forever they're not making a choice they're not making a decision i have to stop waiting around uh, for somebody who's unwilling to put in the work um, i i think i should start rebuilding my own life person is bring, you know coming back into their confidence to say you know what i know i still have lots to look forward to in life and i have so many options i can uh, start dreaming of or choosing from um, some person a feels betrayed by person b they feel that they got stabbed in the back or it's ended too many bad memories of the past too much trouble too much bad blood between the two of you person a says no if this was a soulmate it was a karmic soulmate i have to now shut this contract down maybe because i think uh something maybe the other person said which was really impolite or wrong uh, person a seeing person b as very very stubborn very egoistic always wanting their way or the highway and um, pretending to be somebody they're not so yeah so let's see what actions person a will take finally uh, this is the card uh, virgo which i'm going to open later let's go to person b side and see how person b is feeling about this so person b uh, you also have the king of swords in reverse what's that oh they are angry they are angry that uh, person a has given up on them maybe person b was taking person a's love for granted in the past but um, now maybe yeah that may maybe person b had that ego that they could but right now they could be seeing person a doing really well maybe for themselves or maybe getting some kind of victory in their own life they kind of angry that um, the person a doesn't love me anymore they not uh, they not waiting around or they are no longer maybe person b feels i can't control them anymore or something i don't know uh, somewhere they feel that things are going backwards and their person is has given up on them has is exhausted of them tired of them no longer investing with them anymore tell me about the seven of pentacles in reverse spirit yeah person b person b maybe did love does love person a but maybe they were being emotionally a bit manipulative or trying to keep person a a bit delayed um maybe they were insecure i don't know maybe they didn't feel in control they were trying to delay pr pr person a from moving on or making any choice by keeping them emotionally stuck yeah but basically i think person b didn't want to have a missed opportunity uh with person a and now they could be seeing person a not waiting around or moving on as doing them wrong like you did me wrong you left the situation 
how dare you be happy without me or something uh, person b tell me why do you feel this way five of pentacles in reverse what's the five of pentacles in reverse one more yeah person b was hoping again i don't know I think person B was making plans which fell apart. This person liked to have a lot of control in their life. They, they, or maybe they feel they lost their power with person A. Maybe they were trying to keep, and this person is just angry that this connection is over. I think person B was trying to delay certain things or delay person A from moving on, hoping that sooner or later we could rebuild this. But now they are angry because person A seems to have given up. They seem to have given up and uh, now they are angry because they feel that they lost out on person A's love. They are saying person A is not loving them or uh, no longer stressing on them. I have a feeling person B was hoping that sooner or later they could rebuild or person A would return back to them. Yeah, they could be spying on person A as well to see where they are or what they are doing or this anger and upset. Now, person B, tell me, how do you see the connection now and how do you see person A? A to swords in reverse. Yeah, it's like person B feels, person A is no longer stuck on me anymore. They've I don't think person B was who wanted things to change. I don't think person B, I thought, I, they always thought, you know, uh, we can always revive this, we can always come back together. Uh, but they are seeing, they feel like a fool now maybe, I don't know. They always hoped that they could, they would take action towards person A who they see as very, as very prosperous maybe or somebody who's very stable or somebody who's sitting at I don't know I shouldn't say these things but yeah person B basically feels um, person A doesn't want commitment with them anymore it's like over yeah and also that person A is very happy in their own life with their own stuff and not ready to wait around for their offer or offer them anything basically person B feels their life is totally stuck now they're stuck because person A is no longer stuck on them. I think this person was really hoping that person A would sooner or later return back to them or they could return back. And like I said, they could yes be spying, they could be finding out, they could be trying to figure out some truths as to why person A is not messaging them, not talking to them. Mm, very confusing. Okay. Anyway. Uh, let's see what actions you guys will take then Virgo. I'm going to take another deck for this one and while I shuffle these cards may I please request you if you could just tap the like button for me please helps the videos to circulate keeps me motivated and newcomers repeating viewers to like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in. So person A action from your end towards person B or otherwise. The moon in reverse. Person A says, I know the truth now. I'm no longer in the dark about what, what? Tell me, what's the moon in reverse? That person B was just being a player or they were immature or they were uh, never going to level up. I think person A is just retreated. They retreated. They're trying to heal their mind, body, soul and their broken heart. This person is resting or nesting right now. Look at that broken heart next to them. It's like I need to recover from this. I can, I can see clearly now uh, all their tactics, what they were doing. I know what they're all about. They were just being a player, being uh, inconsistent or um, just not a grown up. So person is uh, manifesting their own happiness, I think, right now. 
the healing themselves and manifesting their own happiness working on themselves they still don't know which direction they're going but they are heavily working on their own uh, life their own soul path and uh, yes looking out to see what else is out there and person age ships are coming in because right after that i have a major arcana which is the death and rebirth right so i think person a is going to going to exactly get what they wanted a lot of options the whole world opening up for them and they're going to be moving on to a new direction all because of their intuition i guess uh, or their connection with the divine or their manifestation skills so person b tell me action from your end towards person a or otherwise the fool in reverse person b feels feeling like a fool right now why is that or they feel that person a is not a, taking a risk towards me or i can't take a you know leap of faith towards them uh, what did i do tell me about the fool in reverse fool in reverse person b two of wands the hanged man king of swords ten of swords this person is going through a huge tower i think they've come to some kind of a realization they've thought long and hard maybe this person thought that they could they always had that choice they would always have a choice whether i mean they thought they were in control for a long time but now when they think about it the clarity that's come to them the shock that's come to them or the tower that's hitting them as is that it's over person is walked away that chapter that cycle is over yeah so that's what i have for you okay one second why, why the why the six of wands see person b you're going to hate me for saying this but i think somebody was sitting in a lot of ego a lot of pride thinking they had everything under control i think now there's only sadness regret guilt shame for destroying a beautiful connection somebody feels that their ego and pride lost them the biggest cup of love at least that something somebody has come to some realization the secret is out and that's making i think this is person b feel very insecure about the fact that they've been dropped somebody is choosing their own selves here i think this is person a saying i'm not going to be an option in your life i'm i'm going to choose myself so that's what i have for you virgo till next time then love and light take care namaste